These are the best moments where Karens got owned and humiliated for their selfish behavior. Let's begin. Okay, so this family owned construction crew had just put up a fence for this homeowner and upon completion, even though there was no problem with the fence, the homeowner just didn't want to pay the price. The gentleman decided to take back his fence literally when he knocked it down right in front of the homeowner, which sent him into a total meltdown as he tried to call the authorities on the gentleman. Let's have a look. My son had 5,000. No, no, no. Give me 1,000 that I fix. Are you going to give it? Yes or no? I ask you one more time. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, who was the fool? Why didn't you pay me and let me go home? Instead, you say fix it and I give. Pay me, no? This Karen was having a total meltdown inside of this Walmart because she wasn't receiving any service. She decided to crawl onto the self-checkout register, screaming and demanding for help immediately. She was soon put in her place when the employee told her to get down from there and made no attempt to get to her any sooner. Let's have a look. This driver really wanted this parking spot, but unfortunately crashed the car in an attempt to take it. This driver then denied any wrongdoing while literally still hitting the car and states that it wasn't their fault as they were just trying to park their vehicle. The driver was then shown the damage and shrugged it off, stating that it wasn't a big deal and then became argumentative over the situation because the gentleman wanted the insurance information from them, which they didn't want to provide. Let's have a look. I just, I mean, I asked him, it's a matter of- So you're gonna smash the cars to get in though? Who's, I wanna get into the spot. So you're gonna hit other people's cars no, to get in? I but want I asked you. you. Look at his car. You hit the car. Your trunk is open because you smashed it. The trunk is open, that doesn't mean I hit the car. What are you doing? This recording. You see that. Yeah, and you also saw that it wouldn't move up. I That's what I mean, you're gonna hit the car. Okay. Right, do you want me to get out? Do you want me to get out? So let me get out, please. I mean, your trunk is open. That's pretty good. That you hit That's a good indication cars. that you hit the other car. First of all, it's none of your business. Keep going. I'm no, just it's, doing... It's, it's the world's business. Could you please move so I can get out now? So I don't have to hit your car. Please. I'm asking you nicely. Please, sir. Thank you. This hated Karen couple tried accessing their neighbor's CCTV footage, but they didn't want anything to do with this Karen couple and refused to let them inside. This sent this couple into a total meltdown where they became aggressive towards this family and started recording them. This Karen couple then threw out all sorts of abuse towards them before smashing a bottle on the ground and getting in their faces. Let's have a look. Go, go get the statement. If you don't have the statement, you ain't have it. Oh, you guys have everything, but when it's yeah. bring it oh. nothing. Oh. Grass. So I kicked it over there, but I'm too scared to touch it. Yeah, oh, we all know it, who you? shoots things up there. Okay, let's have a look at your cameras. Let's see. Oh, oh no, they're down at this moment. Oh, look. No, we can't see when they'll place on the grass. You think we're junkies, do you? I don't think I know. You know. I know. Oh, how is it how not hard to you know? know? Do you guys remember bringing the d**ks onto the property? Do you? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Truth? What chain you were doing in front of Alex? What? Did you forget that? Forget that? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding okay. you. Okay. You weren't there. Yeah, you so. better watch your yeah. mouth. Go back inside and give your dad a head job. Oh. Right now. What is that what you do to your daughter? You're a piece. Are you kidding me? Careful. Who the do you think you, you are? Be careful. Tell me that I'm going to do that. Why is it watch okay your mouth. you to say that? Watch your mouth. Why is it okay watch for you to mouth. say that? Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. You got it? You never say that. 
This customer returned to this Arby's because he believes that his chicken wasn't cooked correctly. He then had a total meltdown at the employee who didn't even touch his food, blaming her for the reason why his chicken was uncooked, and then demanded not only a refund, but also compensation and corporate information. Let's have a look. I understand that. No, 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 no. I'm keeping this, believe me. So I need to ask you, what are you going to do about this? Because holy up and not answering the phone afterwards is not what you're supposed to do. I'm stuck in the drive-thru. Stuck in a drive-thru? I might have just contracted salmonella. Okay. I'm a f***ing army contractor. Am I supposed to walk into that base? Okay. So, no, I do not want another sandwich. First off, I need my money back. Money back, like, now. That's what I'm First off, second off, just like I said on the phone, I need the contact info for your franchise owner so I can talk to them about this. Because I promise you, you don't want turning involved in a lawsuit against you. We could have just really accomplished something not having to go that far if you just would have talked to me on the phone. Not worried about curly fries in a drive-thru. This lady was not following the social distancing rules, and for this reason, she couldn't actually be boarded on this flight. She found this incredibly outrageous and took out her anger on the employees, even though they didn't make up the rules. Inevitably, this Karen was removed from the flight, and she was going to miss it as well, so she tried her best to abuse her way back onto it by speaking to the higher-ups. They obviously weren't going to allow her to board, as she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else, but in general, just had a very poor attitude and refused to do as she was told. Let's have a look. And, and why can't I get on my flight? Why can't I get on my flight? Because you're not answering the security questions. What security questions? I answered your questions. Okay. Hey, you asked me if I have e-cigars in my bag and I said no. Okay, what what other security, security question do you need? I'm trying to ask you a, a what other security question do you need? Card. I gave you my boarding pass. What's well, in your hand? What security question do you need? Okay. I can't even get an answer out of you now. What question need, do you need the I, answer to? You said I wouldn't answer your questions. I need to answer your boarding but card. you already saw my boarding pass. Thank you. This is the third time, so what other question do you need to answer? We're gonna get you a supervisor. I don't need a supervisor, I'm trying to board my flight. Okay, you're... And why can't I get on my flight? All that supervisor talking Excuse me, I'm talking to you. Like, already... everybody just now came in here in line, you stopped me, you pulled me to the side, you said my bag didn't fit, and it fit, and you saw it fit, and then you said I had too many bags, and now you're not letting me on my flight, you said I couldn't answer questions, what question do you need the answer to? I need a CSM to gate number 47A, please. Okay, what so question do you need the answer to? Is someone? We'll what question do you need the answer to? You're the one that blocked me from getting on my flight. Okay. I'll let you talk to the supervisor now. For what? Trying to for what? For what? What did you call your supervisor for? To talk to you. For what? Talk to me about what? To talk to me about what? Put your phone down. To talk to me about I'm what? Not talk to you anymore. Okay, so this Karen found herself in an argument with several people in front of her when things got ugly real quick. This Karen started throwing out some very offensive terms towards them when the entire airline overheard what this Karen said and all asked this Karen to repeat herself as they couldn't believe what she had said. That's when this Karen hushed up really quickly as she had managed to find herself in an argument with not just the people in front of her, but now everybody else. Have a look. <laughs> Kid was sitting here playing her game. And then you said for them to, to stop, stop being black. black. Like, like, I'm <laughs> like I can just wash that <laughs> my skin. You sound stupid as stupid. And keep quiet. Can you look at me though? Since you want to take a picture, smile. Yeah, if you want to tell my child to quit leaving, yeah, then you're going to tell them to stop yeah, being black. black. Like, what is having being black? Anything to do with her the child Being black? Are you They're serious? They're both involuntary. Exactly. Are you serious? You sound stupid. You're dumb. You're hilarious. You're hilarious. Whether you're black or you're white, you're black or you're white person, you're black or you're white person, you're black. You sound stupid. You're dumb. You sound stupid. Okay, so this Karen was caught and exposed by a completely random stranger for hitting somebody else's car. This lady claims that it wasn't her until it was paint matched and confirmed that it was, and that's when she said that it wasn't a big deal, and she doesn't see why people should be upset that she hit someone else's car. This Karen then went on to blame literally everybody but herself for hitting a parked car when it was only her fault. Let's have a look. You don't want to leave an accident. You don't. That's a hit and run. There's no accident. It's back here there is damage on the wheel wall. 
where? That's the part that's more. Oh of a my goodness! Call the cops on me and have them chase me down. Make sure you get my my here. All right. Uh, it's a '97 Grand Marquis. Okay. Stock number six X seven three six zero seven eight. Th that'd or be a hit and run if you leave. With your fans if you leave, that's a hit and run. It. I don't think you want to leave. That's a hit and run. It's a what? Okay. What is it? A hit and run. A hit and run. A hit and run. I'm not hitting and running. I'm hitting and I'm checking this. And there's wrong with this. But you, is there? I'm sorry. I don't want to bring you in this, but. I mean, you're not staying. Okay, so this gentleman was at a Kentucky Fried Chicken and he wasn't happy with the serving size of his fried chicken. He decided to come back and confront the employee demanding compensation or a larger piece of chicken as he states it's way too small and he wasn't happy with it. This angry customer then demands the information from the employee who served him and had a total meltdown over this. Let's have a look. Up, man? This is the piece of chicken KFC just tried to give me. My thumb is big, bigger than the piece of chicken. And the guy's telling me that that's an acceptable piece of chicken. Stop it, Stop Mate, I can film, I'm in the public place, I can film all I want. Yeah, I am. Can I have my money back, please, mate? Thank you, mate. You're taking a very long time to get my money back for someone who's given out a piece of chicken the size of a thumb. What are you laughing at? Look, there's my thumb. My thumb's bigger than the chicken, bro. Okay. Yeah? Is that funny? Kind of is, yeah. It is kind of funny, yeah? And you're a manager at KFC, yeah? Yep. What's your name, buddy? Oh. oh, you ain't got a manager's thingy on. You're no, that much of a scruff. He called, he picked, he picked yeah. There's no name tag on No it. name tag. Look at the state of man. Look at man. He's got dirt down him everywhere. Which one was this Karen was inside of this Dollar General store and her card was declined when she tried to purchase some items. Instead of trying to retry the card or maybe accept that she didn't have the money for the items, she actually took this out on the employees and blamed them for it, stating that it was their fault and then hurling all sorts of abuse towards them. This Karen then became extremely heated and confrontational with them and she was inevitably banned from the store but still refused to leave it. Let's have a look. Did you go to school? Do you know what that means? Leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone. Jesus, you ought to listen to yourself sometimes. I was nice about it when I came in and asked for it. I don't want your help. I don't want your help. Get your supervisor. Get your supervisor. I don't want the manager. I say supervisor. God, girl, do you know how to shut up, ma'am? No, ma'am. Ma I don't want your help. Do you understand? Yes, I do. You won't shut up. But you don't have You don't have to Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, she don't. It's completely uncalled for you to keep her with that boy. Okay, so this FedEx delivery driver drove over this gentleman's newly laid grass and lost his cool at him completely. The homeowner confronted this FedEx driver and he was anything but happy about it as the lawn had just been seeded and he had ruined the grass. That's when the gentleman came out equipped with a rake and demanded that it be fixed immediately before having a total meltdown at him. Let's have a look. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you. I'm get sorry. A I'm, it's my first. I don't know who to call. FedEx and get a supervisor here right now. You are not going anywhere. Call the supervisor. Sir, you got anything? I can help you do it. No, no, he's gonna do it. That's the whole point. I help you do it though. Like if if it, if it helps. Fix it. Come on. Come on. I got you. You got another one? No. I don't. Okay, so these people were at a drive-thru and they had a problem with their order and they were anything but polite about returning the item. I guess the manager had enough that day though because he took out his anger on these customers and wasn't taking any of their grief. These customers were shocked that a manager of this restaurant would put them in their place like this and the manager had no problem being direct with them and telling them to leave his restaurant. Let's have a look. You're on video. What's your name? I'll give a 
No video. This ain't the first time I've been I on You just cussed at me and you're working. Why? 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 All right, fat. What are you What the Why? Oh, Why? oh hell. Oh, hell no. Let's. Uh uh. Why did you you call call so you just called me you a. Call you called someone a. a you're a fat. Okay. We're, yeah, we're, 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 we're really. Fat that's Joe. the thing, though. You can't do that. So I don't give a. You can't do that. I don't give a. Can't do that. You can't do that. So you get the out of here. You're going to lose. I hope you know I that I'm gonna have this on video and corporate's gonna see it. You the hate video. It. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're the gonna, video. it's going all over Okay, so this gentleman was inside of an Uber and his Uber driver had a little bit of road rage towards the person in front of them. The person in front of them were taking their time parking on a busy street and this Uber driver ended up beeping at him. That's when the other driver, who ended up being a police officer, confronted the Uber driver and had a total meltdown at him. This went on for quite some time with this police officer threatened to arrest him if he didn't have someplace else to be. Let's have a look. Okay, what? You gonna let me finish? Stop, Stop interrupting me. Well, who do you think you're talking to here? Except no, every time I open my mouth, you have something to say. When you're driving up my ass, when I'm trying to park the car, and then you have to do something with your hands. Stop. I don't okay. care what you okay. have to say. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. People are allowed to park in this car, okay. park their cars okay. on the side of the street without your interference. Okay, and then your opinion about what's going on. Okay? okay? Especially when the person you're doing it to are the police. Okay, sir. I don't know where you where you're coming from or I'm where you think you're something. appropriate in doing that. That doesn't it's not the way it works. The only reason you're not in handcuffs going to jail and getting summonses in the precinct is because I have things to do. Okay. That's the only reason that's not happening. Because this isn't important enough for me. You're not important enough. Don't ever do that again. Okay. Do you are you a fair? Yes. You're a fair? Yes. And this guy is taking time out of your day for his vehicle and traffic violations. Okay, so this Karen was not happy at this Department of Transport and demanded to speak to corporate. He was inevitably taken to the side when this gentleman tried to defuse the situation and calm him down when he decided to have a total meltdown at him. This male Karen created this huge scene and wouldn't even apologize for his attitude even after this nice employee went out of his way to help him. Let's have a look. Your people kept it. Look at the way you acted. You people are telling me that I gotta go put two more hours into this when I have eight hours into it already. Yes, you two. You, you two. I don't want to talk to your boss. I am. You're the boss? Well, who is your boss? You may be the boss of this. Yep. But who Here, you know what? Boss? I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna give you my business card. You call the Department of Public Safety, you make sure you use my name. I will, I will sir. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Yeah. And I do apologize for making a scene, but you never understand I'm, where I'm coming from. I'm, we're past that, sir. We're past that. If you want to apologize to somebody, you apologize. No, I don't want to apologize. No, I don't want to apologize. Get out. I changed my mind. These people suck. I would suggest you go to another one. This bus driver became incredibly frustrated with the passengers and decided to pull the bus over mid-trip. She then got confrontational and very hated with the person she wasn't happy with, stating that if she says something, she has to do as she is told, whether that be picking up items she has dropped or following any rule of demand she makes up. This bus lady then had a total meltdown at her, screaming in her face and causing this huge commotion. Let's have a look. Not do that. My question is, why And let me tell thing? you something else. I am the boss on this bus. When I tell oh, you to pick something up, you say, yes, ma'am. When I tell you to stop cussing, you say, yes, ma'am. Your behavior will not be tolerated on bus 69. Do you understand? I am writing you up for everything you did today. Shame on you. Okay, so this Karen was being an incredibly difficult customer at this fast food restaurant. Not only was she not following the same rules as everybody else, but she was actually complaining about how long it was taking to get her food, even though they were still politely serving her when she wasn't following the rules. She then turned to the other customers and tried to encourage them to not follow the rules as well, which didn't end very well for her. Let's have a look.
Okay, so this Karen is inside of this fast food drive through and every time she tries to belittle the employee, the automated window actually closes on her, and everything she wants to say is cut off mid-sentence. This infuriates the Karen because in between demanding asking for more condiments and trying to belittle the staff, she can only choose one or the other and doesn't get her way. Let's have a look. Hi, how are you? I'm watching you. Why? Why not? I hate this window. Yeah. This gentleman had taken his dog to the dog park and let it off the leash to run around. His dog ended up getting a little bit too close for comfort with another person's dog who happened to be a Karen. She believed that this was some form of assault and confronted the dog owner for this, stating that his dog assaulted hers and immediately called the authorities on him. The gentleman tried de-escalating the situation as he couldn't control what his dog was going to do. Let's have a look. No, why are you calling Hi. the cops right now? Hi. Because I told you I wasn't leaving the park because my dog was humping your dog. Right I'm not verbally assaulting you. I told you I'm not leaving. The Attleboro Dog Park. That's inappropriate for the dog park. No, it's not. I know it's The dog's humping each other and she's calling the okay. cops yep. because yeah. my dog humped her dog. Every do I've seen every single dog hump another dog here. And she tells me to leave and now she's calling the cops. Like, are you serious? Yeah, they will, they'll, they'll Yo, I can't wait. Yo, this is crazy. Cause this, you heard of barbecue, Becky? Cause this is the newest one. Right here. Let me get her plate. Let's see. So everybody know who this woman is. We can look this woman up. No, you can't. Three Z Honestly. Honestly. I'm just trying you're not to, trying, trying to help trying me. To tell you no, you're not trying to help are. me. I know the rules. You're not I, the, obeying the, the dogs, rules. I'm obeying the rules. What yeah, are you talking about? You I'm right can't here. You allow your dog aggressively on top of another the dog. The dogs hump each other every day, and opinion. I took him off. The, I took him opinion. off. I know That's it's my opinion, but you don't call the cops over it. That's, That's all I'm saying. That's not you just don't call the cops. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.